Hello everyone, this is Kevin T. Rodriguez, film critic of iCritic.net, and I've, I've been thinking about something. And I finally decided I wanted to say something about it, but uh, I'm going to gripe about movie theaters. And believe it or not, it's not going to be about snack prices or people on their cell phones or the endless ads that they play, which means that I can usually show up 20 minutes late to a movie, and guess what? The movie still hasn't started yet. I'm not going to talk about any of that, even though those are still problems. Um... I'm actually now thinking about this. I've actually thought about it for a while. I don't understand it. But why are movie theaters such terrible salesmen? I don't know how many times I've gone to a movie. And I want to usually see it the best possible way you can see it. And so whether that be IMAX or XD or 3D or or RPX, I don't know if they do ETX still. I think they've replaced with a Dolby Theater, something like that, um, near my AMC. But I'm always, I'm always going there and I'm always picking the uh, best possible experience. I, I don't care if it costs a few extra dollars. Obviously, I've looked at the time, I know what showing that is, and I'm just gonna see it. And every single time, Someone tells me, you know, it's the XD screen, right? Or, you know, it's an IMAX, right? It's like, yes, I know. And when it's not me, sometimes with people in front of me where they're like, we'll take two tickets to see split at 10 p.m. They're like, okay, you know, that's the XD screen, right? Oh, well, what's the XD screen? Oh, and they start explaining that it's a bigger, bigger screen. It's got better sound. And, of course, people are like, oh, well, is it more expensive? Oh, yeah, it's like $5 more. Uh... What other showtimes we have? And every single time, I'm just kind of going like, because here's the thing. Movie theaters. I'm talking about the Regals, the Cinemarks, the AMCs, the family theaters. Why are you doing this? I mean, seriously, why are you doing this? You, do you know how many, whenever someone goes to a restaurant, the restaurant will always make rec an upsell recommendation. Do they think the people actually need it? No, but they will make the upsell recommendation because it will make them more money. When you go to a car dealership, even if you have your eye on a car, a specific car, they will try to sell you a more expensive model or at least try, you know, to see if they can do that. Anywhere you go, for the most part, they will try to upsell you something or they will recommend something. Heck, you go to GameStop and you buy a used game, which is what they want you to do. They will still ask, do you want to sign up for a rewards card? Because that's what businesses do. They try to upsell. You make money when you try to upsell. Not to the extent where you're annoying. You can't push it the way like Fry's Electronics pushes their Fry's cards and you just alienate the customers. But you try to upsell. And that's, that's what you do. Now, when it comes to the ticket counter at a movie theater, there's not a whole lot of upselling you to do. Now, if they're seeing a standard movie... You could say, oh, do you want to wait 15 minutes and see it on XD? It's a much better experience with reserved seating and stuff. You can do that. But if they're already going to the big experience theater that, or yeah, the big, yeah, the big experience, th that term is wrong. The great experience screen where it's really big and the picture sharp, theaters do the exact opposite. They don't upsell, they downsell. They actually try to encourage their customers to not do the premium experience. Why? Why are you doing this? I mean, here's the thing. These upscaled theaters um, are not cheap to make. In fact, most of the time when you see an upscale theater, they had to shut that screen down for months to remodel the interior to make it a premium experience that was worth charging an extra five dollars for. Now, after spending that investment, you would think that the goal would be to get as many people into that theater as possible to justify the expense in upscaling the theater and upgrading it. But no, they don't do that. In fact, they every single time discourage people from going to that screen even though the people might honestly be none the wiser. Here's all they need to do. When someone comes and say, hey, we want to see this movie at 3 p.m. 
if the 3 p.m. showing is on a 3D IMAX XD RPX screen or whatever, um, don't say anything. Just give them the price of the tickets. And one of two things will happen. They'll either ask why it's so expensive, which at that point you can explain why it is, and you can make it sound like a good thing. Well, this is the premium screen, and you're getting a much better theater experience. I think you'll enjoy it. Or they won't say anything, and they'll just pay their money. The only time it makes sense to bring up what kind of screen it is is if a family of four comes to a theater and they ask for four tickets for Moana and it's on the 21 and up screen. At that point, it makes perfect sense to say that it's the 21 and up screen. And they're going to have to, in fact, because you can't bring the kids to the 21 and up screen of Moana. And might I add... Seeing something like Moana on a 21 inch screen in 3D is a very nice experience because with all due respect, parents, I, I know they're kids' movies and I don't blame you. Kids are unpredictable during kids' movies and I definitely like focusing on the movie itself. But for everything else, like, stop underselling yourself. Don't stop telling me, hey... This is the screen. First of all, I think I know. I think most people know. I mean, when they look up their movie showtimes on Fandango, it tells them what kind of screen it is. People aren't in the dark. And if they are in the dark, let them be in the dark. If anything, they might actually give a premium screen a chance and really like it and decide, you know what? I want to see as many movies as I can on that screen. But every time you try to, ex you might think you're doing something good, by the way. To by preemptively alienating confusion. But here's the problem. You're actually not doing yourself or them any favor because they only hear one thing when you explain what the difference is. All they hear is that it costs $5 more. That's all they hear. Don't even bring it up. Most of the time, they won't even bring it up. It, it, just, it just boggles me that, you know, and this has been going on for years. We've had these special screens for more than a decade in some cases. I saw my first IMAX in the year 1998. It was a roller coaster movie, if memory serves. And then I saw my first real IMAX movie, which was Fantasia 2000, in 2000. And admittingly, I wasn't buying the tickets. But all I remembered was the experience was significantly better so that when the time came to pay the extra money... I want to do it. I would gladly do it. I don't understand why movie theaters undersell. I mean, it's like everyone else, every successful business upsells. They always upsell because it benefits them. They don't fight with the customers to upsell, but they try. And movie theaters are in an interesting position where some people will go to a movie and they might not even know it's a premium experience. But why even bring it up? Because... They're either going to have to wait longer to see a movie on a smaller screen and they're going to be annoyed or they're just going to go home. Just don't even bring it up. And if they bring it up, then tell them what it is and make it sound like a good thing. Sell them on it. That's the job. I don't understand. The snack concession bar, when you buy any snack, they will always ask, do you want popcorn or a drink? When you get to the person to pay for it, they will ask before they bring it up, do you want a popcorn? Why is the ticket stand the only place where they not only not upsell, but they undersell? Can someone explain this to me? I don't have an answer for it, and I'd like to know. In fact, if any of you have an answer, comment below. And like, favorite, share, subscribe, and as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.